Good morning, everybody. It's story time. Come on, grab your friends. We'll go to Imagination Den. Through song and laugh, there's lots of learning and the fun never ends. It's story time. Thank you so much for coming to story time today, everybody. I'm Mrs. Allie with the Naples Library, and I'm here in the children's room to offer your story time of the week. This week we have a lot of stuff to talk about, so we might not even get to our book, but that's okay. This week we're celebrating the new year. Happy New Year, everybody! And in order to celebrate the new year, we got to kind of know what a year is, right? Do you know what it means to have a whole new year? Do you know what a year is made up of or how we get to a full year? Well, if you don't, that's totally fine because that's why I'm here today. I have a whole bunch of stuff set up for you. Let me turn the camera around and show you what surprise I have. Now this looks a little bit funny, doesn't it? All right, this is a really fun ball, first of all. But second of all, on this ball, you can see all of the different countries of the world. This ball represents the world that we live on. This is the Earth ball. Look, I'm shaking everybody on the whole Earth. Shaking them around. <laughs> Just kidding. So the place that we live on this big ball called Earth is right here. It's the green that you see. Do you see the green on the screen in front of you? And in that green place, we live right about here. So that's little bitty us on big old Earth. And Earth is in the middle of space. Imagine this being space. There's a whole bunch of space out there and Earth floats around in it. Luckily for Earth, Earth has a sun, which is much, much bigger than Earth, but it's really far away, so it looks tiny. The sun is at the center here, and the Earth is pulled in by the sun so that it goes around the sun in big circles, like this. This is called an orbit. So the Earth will start here, and it'll go all the way around the sun in this really big circle. And when it gets back all the way over here, that counts as one whole year. So, a lot of things can happen in that one whole year, right? When you turned three years old, or turn three years old if you're not yet, a lot of things will happen in the whole year until you get to your birthday again, right? All of the holidays happen, the summer, winter, fall, and spring happen, all sorts of stuff. Uh, babies are born, lots of crazy cool parties, lots of celebrations and back around to the beginning. So much time passes. In fact, one year of time passes between these. So much can happen in one year that we had to break the year down into smaller pieces so that we could measure it. We know what happens in these smaller pieces. So in order to do that, we broke the the year down into 12 pieces. 12 pieces. Each of those pieces are one month. One month of the year, 12 times is equal to one big circle around the sun. One of the cool things about that is that the circle kind of looks like a big old pie. Can you pretend that this circle here is one big apple pie or cherry pie or chocolate pudding pie? 
Can you pretend that? So, imagine that you cooked this big, beautiful apple pie for dinner one night, and you have 12 friends coming to dinner. 12. And you want to give each of your friends one slice of apple pie, right? And we are going to name our friends after the months of the year. So the first piece of pie that you give, big old slice of apple pie. See, this is the shape of a slice of apple pie. This is called January. This is January's slice of pie here. January is the name of the month that we're in right now. It starts the whole year. The next slice of pie that you're going to give to your friend, your friend's name is Feb February. February is the name of your next friend. February is a special month because it's the month of Valentine's Day, the month of love. Have you ever celebrated Valentine's Day? Well, your special friend February is very romantic and lovey. The next slice of pie goes to our friend named March. March. March is number three in all of the months of the year. Our next slice of pie goes to our friend named April. I know a few people named April. April is also a person's name, not just the name of a month. Our next piece of apple pie goes to our friend named May. May. So we start here with January, and it's super cold out right now, right? And when it's Valentine's Day, it's still pretty cold out. Then it starts to get a little bit warmer, a little bit warmer in April and May. We have lots and lots of flowers coming out because we're getting a little bit warmer in the year. And we have lots of rain because everybody knows April showers bring May flowers. And in the springtime, when it starts to warm up from winter, it starts to rain. April and May. The next friend we brought to dinner, we're going to give them a slice of the pie. Our friend's name is June. J-U-N-E. June. June is a pretty sunny person. June is the beginning of summer. So we're going to put some sunshines around June's piece of apple pie to remind us that it's summertime in June. Our next friend who gets pie is named July. J-U-L-Y. July is also a hot, hot, hot summer month, good for growing lots of vegetables and staying outside and eating snacks and going swimming and having watermelon. That's what July is for. The next friend to get a piece of pie is August. August is friend. How many friends have we had so far? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. August is friend number eight, month number eight in the year. 
The next name of our friend is September. September. September is the month where we go to school. We start going back to school after summer vacation. And it starts to be a little bit colder in September. We start to turn into what we call autumn or fall. So I'm going to draw some leaves here. So we remember that September starts the fall season of the year. After September, which is month number nine, we have month number 10. The 10th month of the year, and the person getting the 10th slice of apple pie is October. October is the month of Halloween. Ooh, remember, there are jack-o'-lanterns and there are bats. So I'm going to draw a couple of bats on here. And scary nights. Remember Halloween, we dress up in costumes and we go trick-or-treating in October. Second to last, we're on month number 11. Our friend named November is month number 11. November is the month of Thanksgiving. Do you remember Thanksgiving this year? And you had a turkey? Remember that? So I'm going to draw a turkey on November. That doesn't really look like a turkey, but I promise. It's a turkey. Just make believe. And then the very last month of the year is the month with Christmas. So the last slice of pie goes to the last month of the year. The very end. And that month is called December. December. That's month number 12. So now we have all of our months of the year and our whole pie is gone. We start at number one, January. Number two is February. Number three is March. Four is April. Five, May. Six is June. Halfway there. We did half of it all. Seven is July. Eight is August. Nine is September. Ten is October. Eleven is November. And the last month of the year, as we get to the very top of the circle, is December. So, can you imagine? This is the, the Earth, and this is the Sun, and we go in a big circle all the way around the Sun until we meet back up at the beginning again. See that? This is an orbit, and it equals one year. And I know that these are crazy words to remember, right? Well, luckily for you, I'm going to move this back a little bit. Right here. I'm going to come over here and we're going to do a dance. We're going to learn how to dance today. We're going to dance the Macarena. Do you know how to dance the Macarena? It's a pretty silly dance. Let me show you the moves first, and then we'll play the dance video. So first you put your hand out like this, and your other hand out like this. That's so easy. I know you can do it. Then you flip your hand, and you flip your hand. So both of your hands are palm up. Then you put one hand on one shoulder, and the other hand on the other shoulder. Then you put one hand on your hip and the other hand on your hip. Then you put one hand on your bottom and the other hand on your bottom. And then you go, hey, Macarena, hi. Okay, can you do that? 
Let's see. I'll play this video and you'll have to dance. It goes pretty quick, but you'll get the hang of it, I think. Ready? Find some space in your house. Find some space. Back up. Keep playing me. All right, ready everybody? Can you hear it? I hope so. <laughs> All right, you're finding your spot in your house. Are you ready? We're gonna start pretty soon. You got it, guys? You got it? All right. Well, we're going to do the same dance, but we're going to put it to this, the song of the, sound, or the months of the year. Let me just find the song here. It's a little bit slower, so hopefully you can... February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Then you turn around. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, then you turn around. One more time. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, then you turn around. video below my video or below my video so that if you'd like to do this at your house in your living room and practice your months of the year you totally can anytime you'd like and I think let me see yeah I think that we're coming to a point where I can read this last storybook okay Here, I'll turn us back to the story time chair <sighs> Let me get up off the ground and into my chair. Lots of moving around today, huh? One second. Let me just adjust you. Okay. Woo! Mrs. Allie's a little bit tired after all that crazy dancing. <laughs> so our book about the new year today is called The Stars Will Shine. This book is written by Cynthia Ryland. And it's published by HarperCollins Publishers. And this is just a good book to begin the year. These are all the things that can happen in just one year. This new year, the sky will still be there. The stars will still shine. Birds will fly over us, and church bells will chime. Cows will have calves. You see this cow had a baby? A baby cow is called a calf. Kittens will sleep. You see the kittens up here in the hay? Flowers will bloom, a promise they keep. Can you see some flowers blooming on the top of a building in the middle of a city? Very cool. We shall have peaches. Mmm. 
we shall have pie. Remember our big old apple pie for all of our guests? We shall have peaches and we shall have pie this year. We shall have ice cream three scoops high. Mmm, I can't wait till the summertime again, right? Homes will be cozy, homes will be warm. We'll curl up together when rain makes a storm. And cuddle, cuddle, cuddle. Nothing like being inside under the blankets when it's storming and rainy outside. And in this new year, love will be strong. Growing and growing all the days long. You see, they're growing all sorts of stuff, aren't they? They're all working together. There will be goodness. There will be grace. There will be light in every dark place. The sky will still be there. The stars will still shine. Birds will fly over us and church bells will chime. It'll be okay this year, and so much will happen. And next year, we'll be sitting right in this spot doing the same stuff, huh? We'll be right here in January. Or maybe we're not doing the same stuff, and that's totally okay too, because we've grown. One whole year grown, right? Totally. All right, thank you so much for coming and learning so many things today. I know I there's a lot of stuff to learn today. So maybe maybe you remember some of it and maybe you don't. Maybe you need to watch a, a video a couple times. Either way, I'm so happy that you came and joined us today. And I hope to see you again next Wednesday. All right, everybody. Have a good rest of your weekend. Thanks for coming to the story time today. And thanks for learning all about all the months of the year. You're so, so, so smart. All right, have a good one. Bye-bye.